What's going on everyone? Mitch from Respect My Region. We're here at the 2024 Hall of Flowers down here in Ventura, California. I'm here with my guy Shane from Maven. How you doing today, bro? Doing good, man. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. So, you know, you got you you're rocking the, the Maven, Maven Genetics hat, bro. Like, you know, we're a big fan of the flower you guys put out. But yeah, for you sure. guys have been pulling down awards for a while, but this last year it's like you guys swept and clean cleaned house uh, pulling down a lot of awards man <laughs> how what does that mean to you guys and the whole team in terms of like getting those accolades you know i i think as a group you know for everyone doing what they do to contribute to the brand like overall success our cultivators chad and aaron have just been owning it and just bringing like new phenos keeping that newness and that freshness that we want to bring to the industry so we're really thankful for that especially the quality that's been coming out with all of our breeding um, it's been an amazing year. All the, all the little visibility things that we got, uh, last year, we were able to cross those strains and, you know, just try to stay on the up and up and bring that newness to the industry, you know? Yeah. And you, you guys, I mean, it was like a couple of years ago, right? We're, we're, we're breeding a lot of stuff. There was a lot of hype strains and new ways. And now at this point, you said you're breeding stuff you created like a couple of years down the line. So it's yeah. been like, it went from unique to like real, real unique. So what is it that you guys look for in terms of that breeding and hunting for that next flavor? You know, I think we just look for the same thing that everybody else really looks for is like the nose nose. And then you really go for the terpene profiles and then the dry pull, the overall burn through, you know, like everything across the board. And if the strain delivers from the small R&D batches that we do, then we'll usually put it in full production. So on, on your guys' team, how many people got to give it the thumbs up for, for it to pass on? Um, I think, you know, us core components will really discuss it as we spread it out to a lot of our staff to get feedback. We have our R&D line that will run a lot of, uh, you know, um, small batches through to get feedback from the people that support us. And then if we get enough positive uh, motion going forward, then, you know, we'll pull the trigger. So I think it's like a not just like a core team group, it's like an overall effort from everyone that kind of contributes. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Team Teamwork makes the dream work. Absolutely. So you know, on the on the theme of these awards, right, like the strain that really was bringing down the house for you guys last year caused a little bit of a stir and created a, a cease and desist, man. Yeah. I'm just kind of curious about, you know, I don't know if it's cool for us to, to name and talk about the original it, name of the strain. All right, so the, so the yeah. French Laundry, right, from, from Maven, pulled down a lot of awards last year. And then you guys got a cease and desist, which is what we were just talking about off camera. It's probably the most unique cease and desist I've Absolutely. seen in the game. It, 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 uh, um, it was definitely nothing that we planned at all. You know, I think the crosses um, that led to the name. And then I think basically what really happened was, is I was at an event and I think someone wanted to talk about uh, collaboration with the restaurant. And I said, well, with the way culinary arts are going, and uh infusing cannabis with uh, you know culinary arts like it would be an awesome collab at one point and it kind of got misconstrued and then it went uh that direction to uh get an award-winning cease and desist you know <laughs> but i'll take it so the strain still exists now but it's changed a little bit yeah i think uh our best way to accept the cease and desist was to call it the uh fkafl which is formerly known as french laundry um, I think the best part about it is when people see this new label and they don't know how to pronounce it, how funny it is, because it's like flawl, the flack of flaw. Like, I, I think it's a campaign in itself just to have people try to pronounce it. So we've had a lot of fun with the transition. Uh, Quality still on point. The strain's amazing. And uh, we look forward to just continue to produce the heat. What was in, in, in breeding that? Did you know when you smoked that? Like, yo, we got something with this one? Absolutely. I think it was part of our uh, fall collection up at Hall of Flowers uh santa rosa and we were just releasing our fall collection and uh that one really stood out to me you know we had the blue agape that i thought would probably be second but when i saw that uh fkafl uh formerly known as french laundry um yeah i knew that was a winner and uh just really take my hat off to our cultivators and our whole team that you know supports our growth and bringing the quality to the industry Absolutely, man. So California, obviously, it's, it's pretty turbulent in the industry, and it has been. I mean, it has been for a while, but this last year with ARs has, has created issues. Are, are, is there any creative ways from, like, a business operations standpoint that you guys are kind of attacking, you know, still being in the market, growing in the market, but kind of dodging all some of these challenges, man? What's that look like for you guys? Um, you know, I think what's been really useful as the um, hurdles, which there are plenty of them in our industry, have come about more is uh, the platforms, you know, like Nabis, and then there's cannabis.com. I think it helps brands or anybody vet their partnerships a little bit differently versus kind of shaking hands with strangers. And, um, you know, it's always nice to get uh, orders and 
you know, for trying to find your stability and supporting your retail partners. But it's unfortunately come to a point that you have to vet that partnership now. And I think in order for us to stay alive and really continue to do good business, that's kind of where things are at, you know, leading into the new year is just like vetting your good partnerships and uh, building good relations and, you know, trying to find stability. Yeah, the collaboration on the inner team to make it work out with you guys and then greater collaboration among, among the industry. To yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah, we're stoked. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, we're here. 2024. Holla Flowers Ventura. Shane. Maven Genetics, man. Stay tuned for more interviews on the way. Yeah, thank you, guys.